Dear Third Prep, today we will explain a new lesson, which is Unit 5, Lesson 5. It seems like that with you today. Our lesson is the slope. The slope of straight line is the shape of the straight line, how we draw the straight line or what the straight line looks like. I can draw a straight line with a slope like this or a straight line with a slope to the other direction like this or a horizontal straight line or vertical straight line. Each straight line has a different slope. We use the slope in making bridges, stairs or inclined road. For example, what is the slope? The slope here of a straight line, if we consider we have a straight line like this, passing through two points, A and B, A here is the ordered pair two and two, B here is the ordered pair four and five. The change of X here is two units. The change of Y is three units. So I can say that the slope is the change of y over the change of x. The point A was two and two became or moved till the point B four and five. So the change of y, it was two became five. It was three. The change of x, it was two became four. So it's two. So I can say that the slope here is three over two. The change of the point from moving from A to B. For example, if A is 2 and 2 and B is 4 and 5, we will find that if this is x1, y1, and the other point is x2, y2, I can say that the slope is the change of y or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equal 5 minus 2 over 4 minus 2 equal 3 over 2. And this is our rule for calculating the slope using a two point passing through the straight line. I have another rule of the slope. If you notice here, the change of y, which is this line, this is the change of x. We can, we studied this before in the trigonometry, which if I say that this angle, for example, is theta, this a change of y is the opposite and change of x is the adjacent, so I can say that the slope is 10 theta. Or, this is another rule, if you know the angle made by this line with the positive direction of x axis. For example, find the slope of straight line passing through each pair of points in the following. Number one, I have two points, two and four, 4 and 5, and I want to calculate the slope. If I say that this is x1, y1, and the other point is x2, y2, uh, to calculate the slope, which is generated by m, we make y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is 5 minus 4 over 4 minus 2 equal half. We have to start with y, and we have to start with the same point up and down. If I started with this point, I make 4 minus 5, and down is 4 minus 2. Again, to calculate the slope between these two points, slope here is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We make 2 minus 3 over 4 minus 1 equal negative 1 over 3. Again, to calculate this slope, using the same rule, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we will find that negative 3 minus negative 3 over negative 4 minus negative 2, it will be 0. The last example with 3 and 1, 3 and 0, if we make 0 minus 1 over 3 minus 3, it will be negative 1 over 0, which is undefined. We have taken this rule before in second prep. We have taken all the shapes or all the types of straight line. I have four different slopes. It could be positive, negative, zero, or undefined, and we will talk about this later. So you have to know that the slope could be positive number, it could be negative number, it could be fraction, it could be whole number, it could be zero or undefined. For example, 
if he used the new rules, which is we started this year when we started the trigonometry, to calculate the slope of a straight line, if we know its angle, the angle make made by this straight line and the positive direction of x axis. If this angle is 45, to calculate the slope here, we use the other rule, which is tan theta equal 10, 45 equal 1. To another example, to find the slope, we use tan the angle equals negative 1.469. For example, another one, find the measure of the positive angles theta, which is the straight line makes with the positive direction x axis the slope of the straight line. He gave you here the slope and he want to, to know the, uh, the measure of the angle made by this straight line and the positive direction of x axis. So we use the other rule we took in the trigonometry to find the angle we make shift 10, the slope equal shift 10 to 1.486. The angle will be written in the it's angular four, circular four, 56 degrees, three minutes and 41 seconds. Another example to calculate the theta or the measure of the angle we make 10, shift 10, the slope equal shift 10 to negative one over three equal 150 degrees. Another example, find the measure of the positive angle theta, which the straight line makes with the positive direction of x axis, if the straight line L passing through the two points do. Here, to we said in the last example that to find the angle, I have to make shift, then the slope here I don't have the slope I have to find it first then find the angle so we will find the slope using our rule y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 the slope here is root 3 now I can find the angle using shift 10 the slope equal shift 10 root 3 equal 60 degrees again if I have two points, so I have to use the rule of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 to find the slope. The slope here is 4 minus 3 over negative 3 minus negative 2 equals 1. Negative 1. So the theta here, shift 10 the slope, equal 135 degrees. Now, as we said before, you can find that the slope is positive, negative, zero, or undefined. These four slopes make four different shapes of straight lines. If, the, if this straight line looks like this, or this is slope in this direction, the slope here is positive, and theta here made with the positive direction of x-axis will be acute, and if the straight line in the other direction this form, we will find that this slope will be negative and theta, which is this angle with the positive direction, not in the positive part. You have to concentrate positive direction of X is this line, the straight line is this line, so I want the angle between them. So you will find that the angle here is obtuse. As we said, as we, See in the, uh, in the last example that the negative slope gives you an obtuse angle. Shift 10 to negative 1 equal 135 degrees. I have another form of the straight line which is parallel to y axis. The slope here is undefined. Why undefined? Because we find that x1 is the same as x2. So when I make y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 which are the same number it will be number over zero and this undefined slope and we will take that up the, the question vice versa that he will give you the undefined slope and you consider that x1 is equal to x2 the last figure 
is the line which is parallel to x-axis or the horizontal line. Its slope here is zero because y1 is equal to y2. So when you make y minus y, which is which they are the same number, it will give you zero over a number equal to zero. Now, see that the question come in this form. If the straight line AB parallel to Y axis. So if I have a straight line parallel to Y axis, the slope here is undefined. Why undefined? Because X1 there equal to X2 in the other point. So I will find that X1 to equal to X2. So X here is equal to 3. Again, for example, if I have straight line CD parallel to X axis, horizontal line, parallel to x-axis, the slope here is zero. Why? Because y1 is equal to y2. So here, if the point 4 and 2, and the other point negative 5 and y, so if it's parallel to x-axis, it must be y1 equal to y2, so y here is equal to from the other point. Now we have the relation between two straight lines or the relation of the slopes of two straight lines. We have two different straight, the relation between two straight lines. I have the parallel lines, which is looks like this. Both of them have the same angle with the positive direction of X axis. So, so I can say that if line one is parallel to line two, then their slopes are equal because both of them mix the same angle with the positive direction of X axis. For example, he will give you a question like this. Prove that the straight line which passes through the two points, 2, 3, and negative 1, 6, is parallel to straight line which makes with the positive direction of the x-axis an angle 135 degrees. I have here two different straight lines. One of them passing through two points and the other makes angle with the positive direction of x-axis. So, to prove that they are parallel, I have to find their slopes. I have two different uh, given. One of them, it gives you two points. So I have to use the rule, which is y1 minus y2 equal x1 minus x2. So I will make 6 minus 3 over negative 1 minus 2 equal negative 1. The other straight line that given here is an angle with the positive direction of x axis. So I have to find this slope, which is m2 of the other straight line. I can use the rule of 10, 135 equal negative 1. If you notice here that you will find the m1 is equal to m2, so the straight line are parallel. So if you have two slopes, Two equal slopes, so you have two parallel straight lines and vice versa. If you have two parallel straight lines, so their slopes it must be equal. The other relation between two lines, the perpendicular lines. If I have two perpendicular lines, I will find that the, the product of their slope is equal to negative one. When I make M1, times m2, it must be equal to negative 1. For example, again, you want to prove that the two straight lines, the, one of them passing through the two points, um, negative 1, 4, and 3, 7, is perpendicular to straight line, another straight line, pass it through another two points, 4, 3, negative 3, and 1, and 1. I will make the same steps. I have to find their slopes. And if you found that the product of their slopes equal to negative one, so these two straight lines are perpendicular. So you have here two rules. If you have two parallel straight lines, their slopes are equal. If you have two perpendicular straight lines, the product of their slopes, it has to be equal to negative one. Now I will use the rule of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 because the given here is two point. So I use the rule according to the given. If he gave you two points, I will use the rule of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And if he gives you the 
angle, I will use the other rule, which is tan theta. So here I will make 4 minus 7 over negative 1 min oh, minus 3 equals 3 quarters. The other straight line, or the second one, L2, I will find M2. The other slope equal Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1 equal negative 4 over 3. Here, I will make M1 times M2. So I will make 3 quarters times negative 4 over 3 equal negative 1. If you found that, the product of the slopes equal negative 1. So I can say that the two straight lines here are perpendicular. And this is our lesson today. Thank you very much. It was, it was helpful for you.